what up? It's Ty1822 here to review WWE Survivor Series. Survivor Series kicks over Survivor Series 5 or 5 tag match. The Shield, Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and um, Jazz where it turns out the Real Americans versus Rey Mysterio, the Uso, Gold Dust, and Cody Rose. This was an entertaining match right here, man. Roman Reigns was the star of this match. Um, Dean Ambrose got took out early. I was surprised about that. Um, like I said, Roman Reigns was the star of this match. He, he took out a lot of people to spare. He took out um, Cody Rose. Took out one of the Usos. Um, you know, it came down between uh, it was Reigns and Seth Rollins and uh, Rey Mysterio and um, Goldust. You know, Goldust got eliminated by Roman Reigns. <laughs> Uh, then, you know, Roman Reigns ends up sparing Rey Mysterio for the one, two, three. The Shield, Real American, get the victory. Roman Reigns, this guy is a star in the making. He was so goddamn good in this match. All those spares is taking out opponent after opponent. Man, this guy, this guy going to be a future star, man. He got star all written over him. Roman Reigns was the star of this match. Got to say it again, man. He was just excellent in this match. And, and, and I should say, this match this match got, like, about 20 minutes. I'm glad they gave a lot of time. And the Continental Championship match, uh, the former champion, Curtis Axel versus the current champion, Biggie E. Langston. This was a short match. Thank you, because I don't care about Curtis Axel. I do like Biggie E. Langston. Big E. Langston retains the Intercontinental title. If you know Biggie E. Langston got a microphone, you know, got a little cheap pop from the crowd. You know, he mentioned the Boston Red Sox. Won the World Series. You know, Biggie Lacey, he's trying to get over. He learned from the best at the Chief Pops by the name of Mick Foley. You know, Mick Foley's the legend. So, Mick Foley can say the Chief Pops all he wants. You know, I had a problem, you know, with certain guys knowing Chief Pops. Hey, do something to get the crowd into you at least. I mean, some guys, they don't do a goddamn thing. But at least Biggie Lacey trying. He learned from the man, Mick Foley. Uh, it was a, a Divas match. Now... When I came back and, you know, I'm watching on my stream, I'm like, is this five divas or six or seven? Because I'm looking like, okay, who is who? Because I was confused. Like, is that, I'm like, that's one, is that Summer Ray or that's some other blind girl? Like, I was so confused. So I think it was, okay, I think it was, the face team was um, the Bellas, uh, Eva Marie, JoJo, Natty, Karen, and Naomi versus Alicia Fox, Oksana, AJ Lee, Tamina, Summer Rae, and Caitlyn. I think. Because I was, I was really struggling, man. Like, who, who, was who, was who? I just couldn't tell. And plus, I, I don't give a damn about the Divas match. But I think I'm correct on all the Divas. So, I, I, it was six Divas, you know, for each team in this match. I am sure. I could be wrong. Probably just five Divas each team. But by the stream, I couldn't tell, man. Some of the divas in the goddamn rain. It's hard to tell. But this match was all over the place. Uh, Natalia, uh, you know, gets the victory for her team. It came down between her and AJ Lee. She put the sharpshooter on AJ Lee, and AJ Lee taps out. And Natalia needs a push. Natalia's too damn talented, man, to not get a push. Ryback, you know, came out talking trash. Uh, you know, I couldn't hear who he's calling out because I watch a football game. Patriots. Uh, Bronco is still on right now. So, you know, I couldn't hear what he was saying. Then all of a sudden, I heard the music. His return of Mar Harry. Mar Harry had a shaved head. He looked like Rick Ross now. Um, the match was okay. Mar Harry gets the victory on his return. And hopefully, Mar Harry can stay healthy. And Mar Harry bent on a roll with him and healthy. Oh, I missed this match. Uh, Danny Bryant, CM Punk versus the Wyatts. Uh, by my timeline, people said it was the match of the night. I am so mad I didn't see this match because my goddamn stream messed up at the wrong time. All I had to see was Punk and Bryant interest and the wise interest, and that's it. I ain't see nothing else. <laughs> but CL Punk and Danny Bryant gets the victory. Now, I did see, uh, when I cut my stream back on, Bray Wyatt about to come up, you know, and come in the ring and do something. And at first, I'm thinking, oh, is CL Punk going to do something, Danny Bryant? But he did. Because the way CM Punk's standing in the ring, I'm thinking, uh-oh, he going to do something to Daniel Bryan. Maybe he's going to turn heel. And he might be that double that Wyatt was talking about, but it didn't happen. <laughs> Good thing it didn't happen. The main event for the WWE title, Big Show versus Randy Orton. This was not that good of a match. Oh, dang, I skipped something. 
John Cena versus the real. Okay, match. Of course, John Cena gets the victory. Still your world champion, John Cena. Now, let me get back to the big show. Um, Randy Orton, this match, uh, I didn't care for it. The crowd didn't care for it. Um, so, also, you know, Big Show has the upper hand. Triple H music plays. Triple H, Stephanie Kang out there. Uh, distraction, you know, Big Show got distracted. Got hit with the RKO. Then the Big, then the big Show get kicked in the head by Randy Orton. Uh, then my stream cut off again. Then somebody said, well, some, well people in my timeline said, that John Cena came out and, you know, John Cena and Randy Orton tease, you know, world championship world championship versus the WWE champion. Champ oh, I'm all messing up. But y'all know what I'm saying. Or is the WWE champ. Cena is the world heavyweight champion. Unification match. I've been thinking about this, and I said it might happen at WrestleMania 30. Uh, some people in my timeline, like the TLC pay-per-view, would it really make sense to have a unification match at TLC? I, I highly doubt it. I think it's time to have a unification championship match because it's two world titles. Randy Orton and John Cena, these guys came up at the same time. So now WrestleMania 30 makes perfect sense for Cena or a unification title. So that's the review right there. Uh, tonight, pay-per-view was uh, not that good. So don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.